Back and everybody, Rod J back to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one that will be my last here for a little bit um, in the series on value beers. This is actually going to be one from Genesee Brewing. This is the Genesee Ice. This one comes in a 24 ounce can. I believe it's a dollar and however much some change. I'm going to say probably around $1.50 or less for something like this. Comes in with an ABV of 5.5%. It is a North American adjunct lager. Um, I've never had this one before. I never even heard of this company until I saw it on the shelf there. So go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass. Going to see uh, what this one tastes like. And for glassware, this one is actually said to be preferred in a dimple mug, lager glass, or a shaker glass. I am actually going to use a lager glass for this one here. So going to get that poured in. So we went ahead and got it in a glass. I got a little bit aggressive towards the end as you can see. So I've got just over about a three finger head. With these kind of beers that's going to settle out here in a second anyway. So go ahead and take a look at the appearance why it does that. Nice actually golden color. Nice golden yellow color that you get from the beer. Looks dead on for what you would want for a lager. Nice clarity. You can actually see right through the glass there. See the lively carbonation taking place. When you're looking at something like a lager, this is kind of the look you would expect to get on it. Go ahead and get the aroma. On the aroma, you get that malt forwardness with this one. Definitely get in some of that adjunct out of the aroma. Now, I'm not sure if they're using, um, I'm assuming they're using some of the corn, but I'm not sure if they use rice as well. They do talk about how the ice crystals from, uh, form in the beer during the aging process and that's supposed to also help the flavor so we'll find out on the taste there. I'm not getting uh, really too much more out of the aroma outside of a little bit of that malt forwardness. Go ahead and get into that taste. Now I don't see the IBUs listed but you do get some of that bitterness up front. A little bit harsh on the uh, little bit of that I guess you could say sting in the uh, sensation of the taste. It does have a crisp finish though on the back end. It actually has an okay mouthfeel coming in about, uh, I would say about medium body. You do get the flavor swirling around for a little bit afterwards so the duration actually isn't too bad on this one. Obviously on a beer like this, you do taste the alcohol coming through. It does actually go down pretty easy. It's got something of a refreshing quality. This is actually one that if you were out in the summer doing some things, cutting the grass, that you could actually finish with one of these afterwards and kind of have a refreshing quality with it. Another one that would be a good um, type softball type beer, fishing type beer, something where you want to get out and do some things but not get too totally hammered. It's actually not as uh, bad tasting as I thought it may be. I looked at the can and saw the can there and design leaves a little bit to be desired I think but actually it's not as bad it's actually better I think than the other value ones I have tasted go ahead and check some of the ratings here well untapped actually has this at a 2.22 average bottle cap that is definitely the highest that I've seen on the value beers rate beer has it at that great number one overall and so, on beer advocate they had a 63 for poor and they had a 68 from the bros as being poor but again those scores were higher than some of the other ones previously that I had done more recently I done the, I did the uh, Natty Daddy and Ice House Edge and of course uh, Budweiser and this one actually seems to stack up better than all three and actually would I drink this one again I think that um, you take it at what it is you're not going to get a big amount of flavor from a beer like this because it's not designed to really do that it's not going to be that craft beer feeling but if you just want to save some dollars and get a beer you can sit back and enjoy it have it being a little bit refreshing i think this one does that and this is actually one that would pair up nicely with some of those bar food type type things especially if it's like a barbecue or a picnic type thing so i think with this one i'm actually going to go ahead and give this one a grade of a I'm gonna give it a C minus um, there's no uh, that's what I gave the last one to 
Ice House Edge, but I think it's definitely that C minus level, and I think it's definitely a, you know, like I said, something worth a try if you got to pick up a couple beers. You just want to kick back, and for whatever reason, um, don't want to go out and get some craft beer. You want something that's a little more cheaper that you can just sit and enjoy and maybe save a few dollars. Well, this might be the bet to go with there. So. That's what I'm going to give this one a C minus, and this is the Genesee Ice. Definitely a tops as far as the value beers in my book. So, if you've had this one before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this one or any of the other beers I had discussed, and um, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this tall one here, and then I'll be back um, in the upcoming videos with some more of the craft beers that are out there and I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video remember if you like what you saw please remember to hit that like button and of course if you haven't subscribed yet please do so that way you're up to speed on all the new videos as I release them so with that I'm going to say cheers I look forward to seeing you on the next video